In this Sitefinity administration video, we'll take a closer look at how to manage Sitefinity configuration settings. To access the configuration settings from the Sitefinity administration dashboard, click the administration menu from the top navigation and select settings. Sitefinity has two modes for managing settings. Here, the basic view includes the most frequent settings so that you can access them easily. On this page, we can select our time zone and by using the sidebar navigation, have the ability to modify languages, comment settings, and even social networking integration like Twitter and other social network sharing. For more on this, be sure to look at the Sitefinity documentation. There is also an advanced view for managing settings, which is available by clicking the advanced link at the top of this section. Virtually all of Sitefinity's configuration settings can be managed using this mode, which has a navigation tree on the left for working with different sections of Sitefinity. Each Sitefinity content module has its own associated node for managing its settings specific to that module. For example, by opening the blog settings, we can allow blogging from an external application, as well as override the comment settings for this module. Other areas of Sitefinity you can manage include security, such as enabling LDAP settings, as well as configuring the membership provider parameters like minimum password length and password format. Another important section is system, which is where you can manage your SMTP settings, the output cache, as well as installing and registering new Sitefinity modules. The last section we'll look at today is the toolbox settings, where you can manage the settings for the toolbox items available on the page editor. You can remove unused controls or even register new tools or add additional sections. Another advantage to the Sitefinity Configuration Settings Editor is that it does not use the website's config file to persist settings, as was the case with previous versions of Sitefinity. By default, settings are now stored in the App Data folder of your website as XML files. Not only does this prevent custom settings to web config from being overridden by Sitefinity, but it also allows you to modify settings without forcing an application restart due to modifying the web config file. These files can also be edited manually with any text editor. If needed, settings can be instead persisted to the database, which can help with load balancing scenarios to ensure that all settings are kept in sync. For more information about managing Sitefinity settings or any other Sitefinity topics, be sure to visit sitefinity.com documentation. And thank you for watching this video.